Ugh, sorry I'm late to the party, but sometimes life really sucks. <laughs> Hello guys, what is up? I am the Eptive 121 and welcome back to another reaction video on the channel. Today is the Nintendo Direct of the 8th of February 2023. Delayed, because guess who fell sick on the day that it released? Yeah, me. <laughs> But I now feel a lot better. Um, the slam around my throat is a lot less now, and I can actually speak properly. My voice might still be a bit dampened because of my the congestion I'm experiencing, but hopefully it's still audible to you guys. I have no um, predictions for this um, uh, uh, Nintendo Direct. All I'm hoping is just for some great games to come by. But if you guys are hyped for more uh, reactions for the channel, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe for our content. If you're new, I have a lot of gaming content on this channel that you should be, you might want to watch. And ring that bell to get over any time to the channel. Last direct reaction on the card up here. Anyways, I'm actually not alone in terms of blindly reacting to it. Introduce yourself. You mean how? Name? <laughs> <laughs> yes, name. <laughs> God. Yeah. I barely forgot. I'm your... not good at introducing myself. No, I... it's. Not... <laughs> I barely you're bad at remembering your name, Honeydew. I mean, I'm. I always, whenever someone like asks me to write down my name, I always put the D before the Honeydew. But like, I allow people to just call me Honeydew. <laughs> if you remember him, this guy is the guy that I played with. I uh, played the uh, Tricky Towers with. That let's play is still on my channel. If you want to have a look at it, it's a very hilarious playthrough. I'll say that much. Without further ado, though, um, you also are blindly reacting to this uh, direct to an extent, right? Yeah, basically. All right, and without further ado, two, three, two, one. Now I have the volume a bit lower because I I don't really want to get you know hit by any infringements. You know what I mean? But I just let's go. Yeah, that's fine. Here we go, Nintendo Direct. Which is a bit softer. There we go. Well, there's Pikmin 4. I kind of recognize the capsule to an extent from Pikmin 3. Or at least the, the design. Also, wow, starting off strong too. Familiar enemies are back. And you have new enemies, like birds. This ain't a crash, right? Nope, this ain't a crash. Is that a new? That's Alf, I think. I don't know, I think the hair is different. Do you think it's a new person? I feel like it is. Hmm... Red, blue, yellow, no surprise. Kind of looks like, like look a younger. It kind of looks like a younger version of the female uh, character. You know what I mean? Yeah. But that might be just me. Oh well, you can climb on walls now. Oh yeah. Ice Pikmin. What are they for? Does that answer your question? That answers my question. Whoa, that was cool. No pun intended. Aww. Oh my goodness, a companion. That's, an ally. That's a companion. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, that's a brand new cast. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let, let's have a look at this. I need to see this real quick. Oh yeah, that's definitely a new class. Well... Okay. I'm looking to the left. Doesn't the guy at the back look like Louis? A bit. No. <laughs> I don't know, it just kind of looks I, like... like I, I haven't played Pikmin too much, so I don't know exactly who you mean, but like, uh... from the characters I like remember, I don't think so. Okay, well... Okay. This is my predict. This is what I see. The left one, all the way to the left, looks like Alf. 
The one next to Alf looks like Louie from Pikmin 2, and then all the way to the right, that guy looks like the big guy that I forgot his name of. Oh my goodness. Shepard, that's his, uh, that's the name. A castaway? What? Ah, this guy kind of looks like one of the enemies we've seen before. A very big mealworm. Oh, this looks familiar, like from Pikmin 2. Pikmin 4, when is it going to release? Tell me. I wonder what the... there was like a whole ship there. Yeah. Oh, and I did assume this is DLC in nighttime. Is this an extra? Oh! Because I feel. 7th. Wait, 21st of. Uh, wow. Racial Harmony Day? Okay. For those in Singapore, you know what I'm talking Hello, about. I'm Shinya Takahashi. Hello! Been a while. <laughs> that was the latest trailer for Pikmin 4. Jeez. A dog like creature was spotted. What kinds of things will it show us? Please look forward to more information in the future. Looks like you can dash and all Let's that kind of stuff. First batch I like that it tracks the bodies. Here we go! This new hero is a real gem. LOL. Introducing volume three of the Xenoblade. Ah uh -huh. Straight up the gate, why not? Say hello to Masha, the newest hero and a refined lapidarist. She can use special ore to craft cool. accessories. Cool. Have no idea what that profession means. <laughs> Challenge battles with roguelike elements are also being added. Select only one character and battle wave after wave of enemies. For every win, you learn more heroes and special abilities. Cool. Rack up victories with your heroes and set your sights on the final stage. You might also get special in-game outfits as a reward. Oh. Coming in volume four later this year. Uh-oh. Tell me why. Is this really what you want? Nothing's going to get through to him. He's a heartless machine. Wow, that is a tease. That wasn't enough for you. Volume three of the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 expansion pass for the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 game launches on the Nintendo Switch system wow. on February 15th. Total Defense Day. I'm, I'm seeing a trend here, Japan. Shake it, amigo. What? No, what? the last two... The last two dates I'm seeing are both, well, Singapore, uh, like, you know, special dates in Singapore. Oh no, I'm just Grab seeing Samba Amigo, like, where was the last game? That's like, isn't that at least a decade? That's true, actually. Follow the instructions on screen to pose and dance. But the unexpected might happen, so stay on your toes. That's true, it is Sega, I remember. Well, Sega did mention they were mention, uh, bringing back a franchise, and it looks like they brought back this. Show up in style too. Oh my goodness, look at that. Compete online in World Party. Those with the lowest scores in each round will be eliminated. Keep the beat and aim for first place. 40 songs are included, spanning a multitude of genres from around the world. So grab those wow. controllers and get shaken when Samba de Amigo Samba de Amigo on to Nintendo Switch this summer. Shimmies. Okay. Sure. December 21st, 1999. My goodness. That is a long while. Welcome to Fashion Dreamer. This is the place to glam it up and express yourself. Here, you'll aim to become a stylish influencer. Ooh. You're in luck. Tons of people are seeking the latest trends. Give them a like if you dig their style. Or suggest new outfits for them to grow as an influencer. What? Okay. Now it's time for fashion design. 
So basically, force everyone what you want them to wear. Then add a personal touch to give your item a I'm just not going to comment on this game. <laughs> I, I have zero opinions. Are by it, them. For me, this game just exists. Mix and match your favorites to create new looks. By connecting online, you can expand your friend circle and grow your brand. Got an eye for fashion? Then get styling when Fashion Dreamer debuts exclusively on Nintendo Switch this year. Okay. Delve into these dark worlds. Uh oh. Dracula's Castle beckons in this new paid DLC. Okay, that's a light action. Oh, platform. that's it. Oh. Oh, uh, you know what, Jonas Newbar, if you're watching up there, I'm swear, I hope you're glad that new Dead Cells game has come out. Rest in peace, my friend. Of course, of course. Dead Cells return to Castlevania, sinking its teeth into Nintendo Switch March 6th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. I haven't played Dead Cells myself, but people constantly like crazy. It, it, it's good, I, I heard very good things about it. And as someone who actually was part of Jonas Newbar's um, Discord streams when he was playing Dead Cells, I'll admit that the game looks very solid. Like, um, I love roguelikes, but I'm quite opposed to roguelikes. Hmm. Because uh, they're very different to each other, even though they're basically the same. Wait, is that? Well, that can't be good. The time-bending murder mystery Ghost Trick returns in HD. Okay. After kicking the bucket and becoming a ghost, you can possess and control objects. With your powers, you can even help others like this woman and change any ill-fated uh fates. Matt. Ghost Trick Phantom Detective Spirits onto Nintendo Switch this summer. That's unique. Okay. Two connected worlds, one suspenseful thriller. That one may cry? The cat looks like it. Is this the game by Chunksaw? I never say I thought I was DMC. Decca no, Allis. Decca Police. Devil May Cry has a much realistic style. That's true. And you would most likely see Neo or Dante. Oh my goodness. Cubes everywhere! Oh no, Minecraft is spreading. Ah! Seems like turn wow, base. extreme, extreme arrest. <laughs> ah? Lots of uh, lots of high tech and uh, weapons. Guaranteed this yeah. here, okay? Once upon a time, there was a witch and a demon. Okami? No, this this is Okami. But it reminds me of another game. Seeking the power oh! to rescue deep into the Avalon forest ruled by fairies. I'm going to that forest. I'm going to become a witch and save mummy. There, she'll encounter the otherworldly demon Cheshire. You'll control both witch and demon at the same time. I like the style. I do too. To travel through this mysterious and dangerous forest. Wow, this looks amazing. Together in battle as well. 
Ceresa cannot attack and can only support Cheshire by magically binding enemies. Mm. Hold an enemy in place while Cheshire attacks. Or stop an aggressive one to focus on another. Strategically use each character's abilities to win battles. Kinda, it's like it's it's like kind of like it takes two, but with one person. As they continue their journey, by obtaining more powers, new paths can be opened, yeah, and battles can be more easy. Wow, look at that! But uh, I've seen other can games use this. And Cheshire find their happily ever after. I'll be honest, I'm glad that Bayonetta is continuing on the series, despite the backlash that happened last year. That was already last year. Yeah, it feels like a long, uh... That feels like not that long, huh? Yeah. Oh? Splatoon 3! Now what? Subway. Okay. Wait, is this what I think it is? <gasps> They're bringing back Splatoon 1! Sort of. <laughs> Introducing the Splatoon 3 expansion pass. This paid DLC includes two waves of content. Oh! <laughs> first wave is Inkopolis. Make this splat-tastic place from the original Splatoon game your That is incredible. This is Booyah Base. It's got some pretty nifty weapons and gear. You might spot a few familiar faces alongside new shopkeepers. Products here are the same as the ones in Splatsville, so shop wherever your vibes are strongest. Salmon Run. Table Turf Battle. The Show. Oh dear, imagine the original maps with uh, Salmon Run. That's gonna be interesting. And the Splat Oh, there it is! The Squid Sisters will also perform here during Splatfests. It's back. It's you back! Old school and freshness? Then head over to Inkopolis. The first wave of the Spring 2023. Yes! Wow. Okay. That is a huge shock for me. Oh, what's this? Wave two? What? Well, this is something with the Octarians. Possibly. Oh, yeah. Wait, is it about a marina? Is it? It is. Side order. I assume that's wave two. Man, teases, uh, tease after tease after tease. Crazy. Wave one there it is. Launches this spring. Dude, the fact that Acopolis is returning is so good. Hey, Joseph. See, folks, ladies and gentlemen, they did not forget about the Wii U. <laughs> oh, sorry, Jazek. Jazek told me he was actually going to join, but then he had dinner, so now he's finally joining us here. I am recording it. Thank you all very much. Well, then, hello, YouTube. We hope players will be able to enjoy the game even more. Oh, you're a bit soft, by the way. I think. Oh, am I? Please look forward to yeah. more information about Splatoon 3 okay. in the future. I can... Let's see some more Nintendo Switch headlines. Crank up my microphone game here a little bit. I'm also talking a little quieter. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're good. You're good. That's good. Island. Okay. Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Donald Duck, and Goofy. 
Why does this look like Epic Mickey style? Actually, no, not even Epic Mickey. Epic Mickey's a lot more realistic. Yeah. <laughs> Donald Duck. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I, I need to comment on something. By unlocking special yeah. abilities. Island of Mana. Was I the only one when I saw Jump. this? Thought of Sonic Colors. Sonic Colors? Planet Wiz Act 1 had a level design similar to this. I have not played Sonic Colors, so I can't comment. And I have, but it was so long ago. Mm. Man, to think that game is 10 years old. I actually might get Ultimate this year. By unlocking special abilities, you can reach new places and find secret areas. <laughs> Mickey, so happy. With boost jump. Round pound barriers to open so new spaces. Happy. But Yoshi's not in this game, Chao-Zack. Oh wow, look at that. Hey, this game could be similar to Rayman. Oh, well, yeah, I was going to say Rayman yeah. style. Play leapfrog for larger jumps, or drop a rope to lend a hand. <laughs> now this is like Battle Block. <laughs> oh, too, yeah, Battle Block too, yeah. While exploring the island, you'll meet unusual allies and dangerous foes. Study their movements carefully to figure out the secrets to victory. Join Mickey and friends on a high flying adventure in Disney Illusion Island. Disney Illusion Soon Island. Nintendo Switch, July 28th. Pre orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. More emblems are on the way. Oh boy. New emblems are coming to future waves of the Fire Emblem Engage Expansion Pass DLC. Wave 2 includes Hector, Emblem of Strength. Raise defense and unleash counterattacks. There is only one person who can make Sorin, Emblem of Acumen. Cast magic spells over... I think we're all keeping quiet because none of us have played Fire Emblem. <laughs> yeah. Camilla, that also, uh, I'm just not interested. Modify the terrain to hinder enemies. Wave 3 includes Crom and Robin, Emblem of Bonds. Overwhelm foes with sword and magic attacks. Veronica, Emblem of Oh, I should mention, Giles, as we watch this, Giles, you have seen the direct already, right? Oh yeah, I watched it live yesterday. <laughs> um, how did you ask not? I also have not, so we're both seeing it for the first time. Yeah, I figured I'm I'm not gonna say anything about any details because yeah. Although you're probably gonna you're probably dying inside just so that the real thing you know I'm gonna be hyped with, right? Um I mean yeah there's there's a Yeah. Yeah, for those wondering, um when I was sick that same day, Josh actually posted me some spoilers on that, but I told them I was sick, I was like, uh wish I could watch for you guys, but I can't. Because voice equals dead. For clarification Take for people, I didn't your send him unmarked spoilers. Oh, so yes, sorry. The um, Discord thing yeah. The yeah, in Discord you can actually mark spoilers, so he did do that, so I didn't see it. But I told him that I wasn't able to really see them because, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, it's very hard to do a reaction video when your voice is shot, right? In this narrative adventure, yeah. harness yeah. your divine gift of clairvoyance to travel between worlds. See the future. I feel like I've seen this game for a little bit somewhere. Art style looks similar to something I've watched. Although this looks very much like the butterfly effect from what I see from, um, oh, what's that game? Until Dawn. Or chaos to change the story's outcome. To which destiny do you It's like a cartoon version of Until Dawn. Yeah. Launches first for consoles on Nintendo Switch this June. These games will have you rolling. Uh. <laughs> Octopath oh, there it is. It's just around the corner. <laughs> After today's Nintendo Direct, a demo containing the game's opening hours will be available on Nintendo eShop. For those wondering, I am actually taking notes on my phone because. Most likely me and Jazz will do a uh, podcast on this on one of the Saturdays. Maybe not tomorrow, unfortunately. Yeah, we got a Saturday too enough. Uh, we can do that off screen. 
Yeah, yeah. Keep it rolling. Run around oh. and collect oodles of objects yeah. in this region. Great, I hate I hate this. <laughs> Roll in a class. Roll Royal Reverie. And space. Is this like a sequel to the first game? Most likely, most likely. The young king of all yeah. cosmos in five new challenges. I have Katamari Damacy re-roll on Switch. Camera. I've played a good bit of it, but I don't think we I've love Katamari re-roll plus Royal Reverie comes to Nintendo Switch. Donuts. In addition, active and speaking Nintendo of re-roll, oh hello. I might actually give this a shot, honestly. Yeah. Combine the powers of the sun and moon to fend off. Now I'm not too sure if I'll be able to complete it like what I did for Captain Toadshare Tracker, because literally during the game trials, I finished the whole game. Meet characters yep. from all walks of life and devastate <laughs> foes with timed attacks in battle. Complement your journey with enchanting melodies and retro inspired tunes from the renowned Yasunori Mitsuda, a guest composer for the game. Sea of Stars sails onto Nintendo Switch August 29th. A free demo will launch later today on Nintendo eShop. Oh, I've seen this. The Smash Legends so Omega Strikers. I saw. Uh, it's the other game. Okay. I did see Proton John play this. I know this game is on Steam. Yep. Use each striker's skills to dominate each match. Change the course trajectory from afar. Block areas to gain the advantage. Or knock opponents out of the arena with explosive moves. Omega Strikers slides onto Nintendo Switch April 27th. Pre-orders for this free-to-play game begin today on Nintendo eShop. Dive back into the sprawling labyrinth. A collection of the first three Etrian Odyssey games is coming to Nintendo Switch remastered in HD. Many treasures lie deep within a massive labyrinth. Its paths are intertwined, and vicious huh. monsters lurk in the shadows. A blank map is your only guide. Yeah, By drawing so the map I've, as you explore, I've heard about you can the, the Etrian Odyssey further. games for years, and I never knew what the gameplay was. Venture into the like, oh, the okay, so you're as the guild leader, having to like them roles, chart like the out the, defending protector, the routes the of, of dark the mazes that you prefer. But be warned, hmm. every adventure is fraught with danger. Should but then it goes into battle, a turn-based RPG, which I'm just like, eh. And learn new skills to strengthen mm. your party before <laughs> challenging the labyrinth again. 24 newly drawn character illustrations are included. Plus, take advantage of new difficulty options. Hey, Nick. And a new auto Hang on. <laughs> Picnic difficulty. <laughs> that, yeah. that might be the first time I've seen that kind of word used with difficulty. <laughs> Oh, they should have had something similar to that for expert. Like, what's the opposite of a picnic? Um. Yeah, what is the opposite of a picnic normally? Hmm. <laughs> you think I have the answer to that question? <laughs> also, hang on. Let me give me do something real quick. At least I will have Giles like a bit up. Uh, I think I should be fine. All right, we're good. Let me continue this. Take advantage of new difficulty options. And a new Maybe starvation for smoother exploration. Or yeah, that or a uh, forest fire. Collection mm -hmm. Launches on Nintendo because you're Switch in a forest. That's true. Game in the collection will also be available <laughs> this is what we call a forest fire. It's where you set the forest on fire. Pre-orders begin today. Picnic. On Nintendo e Picnic. So we thought Normal, it was too easy. So now the forest <laughs> is on fire. Get yeah. your tactical skills ready. Advance wars. Calling all strategy fans. The Advance Wars 1 plus 2 reboot. They keep telling us about this. A couple of months away. Join Andy, Max, Sammy, and more in two full story campaigns, each one filled with colorful turn based tactical yeah, action. I, I do think I am Flex actually going to get Advance Wars. Of modes. Even though it's basically like. Maps and share them with friends. Fire Plus Emblem head -head Light. <laughs> Advance Wars 1 plus 2 Reboot Light? Camp comes to Nintendo Switch April 21st. Basically, like, it, it's not so much like, an, um, I was about to say not so much anime, but literally that trailer was anime. <laughs> return to Dreamland, and we know about this. A new story will unfold in the Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe game. Wait, a new story? Magalore, the interdimensional traveler from the main adventure, has lost his powers. 
and must escape the realm between dimensions. Oh! All Ma you can do now is a basic attack and jump. To regain Magalore's powers, you'll need to collect magic points by defeating enemies. With magic points, different abilities can be restored okay. and enhanced. Oh, you got me interested. Improve Magalore's yeah. levitation or increase his attack range. The order in which you restore his powers is up to you. There Man, the fact you kind of slow is definitely going to be a big uh, trouble, I would say. Yeah. Up to four players on the same system. Oh, okay. Let me see how you can do this. Realm yeah. Can Magalor restore his powers and safely return to his world? You can access this new epilogue after clearing story mode. Ah. And then, of course, the original story. Today's Nintendo Direct. A demo will be available on Nintendo eShop. Yo! Yeah, I, I played a bit of the demo. Uh, just the, the first few stages. And yeah, one of the mini games it lets you play. Kirby's return to Dreamland February 24th. Switch system, February 24th. At the time of recording this, two weeks from now. now on Nintendo mm -hmm. eShop. We hope you're looking forward to the new story in Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. Next, here's some news about Nintendo Switch Online. Huh? Please take a look at this. No way! Did they yep. finally do it? They did. <laughs> yes! Both games are being added to Nintendo Switch Online. Oh my! You can play these games anytime, anywhere, just like you could back in the day. Yes! Oh, Tetris! Wait, why did they remove the NES Tetris then? <laughs> Tetris. Arrange the falling Tetris. Well, then again, I actually have not played this uh, version of Tetris, so I'm actually quite excited for that. Super Mario Land 2. Got a playthrough of that. Reclaim the castle that Wario stole from you. <laughs> the Legend of Zelda. Haven't played this yet. Awaken the windfish to escape Kohalent Island. Gargoyle's Quest. Save the Ghoul Realm as Firebrand from the Ghosts and Goblins series. First time I've seen this. Game and Watch Gallery 3. What? Of Game and Watch titles. <laughs> That's cool. Alone in the Dark. The New Nightmare. Solve a murder mystery on the supernatural Shadow Island. That was cool. Metroid 2, Return of Samus. I've done the AM2R. Hey, died. I can now play this. <laughs> done a playthrough of that! Yeah. <laughs> a full playthrough of that, by the way. I did 100% playthrough of this game. Yep. Kirby's Dreamland. I have played this before. I actually defeated it on my first try with zero life left. Debut title. Yeah. Yeah, you can beat this in like half an hour. Yeah. You can use the Game Boy. Game Boy Pocket. Color. Yes, color. Up to yep. two players can play compatible games together locally or online. Yay. That means the two of us can play Tetris at 2 FPS. Hang on, hang on. Seasons, ages, Pokemon trading card games, Kirby 2 and Tumble. You got to be kidding me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Minish Cap? Is that Minish Cap? Being added to Nintendo yep. Switch Online Plus expansion pack. Oh my goodness! That you can play at so Advance is exclusive to the expansion pack. Game Boy and Game Super Boy Mario Color are on the base. Have this game, although the demo version of that is a Japan version of that as well. Yeah, although this version has the e-reader exclusive levels. So yes, that's great. Warrior, guide the spinning stick to the goal without. I thought I saw this game, but I guess not. Mario Kart Super Circuit. Tried to do a playthrough of this one time, but unfortunately, well, I didn't have a controller that then, so I couldn't find play this. And I was freaking out about this. It's like finally. There you go. There you go. Yep. I I I have. 
played well only about an hour ish of superstar saga so far into a big adventure but yeah i'm happy dude that is gonna be high four people at the same time playing super circuit yeah Metroid Fusion, Kirby Amazing Mirror, Fire Emblem, F-Zero, Golden Sun. So the thing about Amazing Mirror is that people will actually be able to play that online with friends. Hey TRD, if you had just waited a bit longer... Then I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah. A bit longer, like eight years. Hey, stop playing! Yeah. Oh wow, okay, that's quite cool. <laughs> and after today's Nintendo Direct, you'll be able to play the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance titles. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yep. Like I said, I've been playing them, so. Let's go! Nintendo Switch Online plus expansion. Finally. Let's see a few more headlines. What else do you have to tell us? It can't get any better than this, can it? Original Metroid Prime game is remastered on Nintendo. Bloody hell! <laughs> <laughs> I had to say nothing. I had to keep my mouth shut. It can! Are you kidding me? The original Metroid Prime is finally here. Yep. I can finally play this. Well, funny thing is that I already have a Dolphin emulator, so I could play this on this console. Well, remastered. Or the original console. Mm -hmm. Oh Actually, my goodness. I think I have a Metroid Prime copy, but I think I didn't even get past like the first stage. Oh my god. <laughs> that was back to back and I was not expecting it. Oh, look at Ridley. Yeah, n neither were any of us when uh, yesterday. Metroid Prime Remastered. Yeah, it's not the full trilogy, but it's at, at least the first game. Hey, oh, released on the Nintendo GameCube system has been remastered for Nintendo Switch. Explore Talon 4 from the perspective of Samus Aran. But beware, there's more to this alien planet than meets the eye. Visors are the key to your adventure. Ah. They'll help you discover info and clues on how to progress. Depending on the situation, a certain visor may be required. When yeah. hostile creatures attack, keep them in your sights with a lock-on feature. Then fight back with beams, missiles, bombs, and more. I know this game ain't, ain't no joke. Like, this game is actually quite difficult. This remaster adds new mm -hmm. dual stick controls, allowing you ah. to... Ah! ...changing your point of view. Yeah, although fun fact, it is compatible style. with GameCube it controller. Oh, that's game good. Game, among yeah. other control options. Explore Talon 4 with your preferred play style. Oh, look at Ridley! Of Metroid Prime Remastered launches on Nintendo eShop later today. The physical version of the game will be available in stores. I might get the physical version. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what? Your master detective skills. Now, this, wait, Daggeropa? This is the it's uh, from the Danganronpa devs, yeah. Oh, this is the Spike Chunk okay. detective. Yeah. And Shinigami, the spirit yeah, it looks very. The art style is very similar. Oh man, I think I shot my voice from shouting from those two last two. Uh, Nintendo, what have you done to me? Oh yeah, ring code. Yeah, they, we saw this the other day. I said the last direct. That can prove useful during investigations. Mimic body types and voices with disguise. What? Detect heartbeats and whispers with audio aptitude. And witness past crime scenes with post cognition. Ah, so basically. Oh, how to say this? So basically, like that girl from um. Oh, what's that? What's that series? Um, you know the girl who like has a very good memory or something like that. I, I don't quite know. Yeah, oh, I wish I can remember now. Unforgettable. Never mind. Yeah. I'll be honest. You should. Re I recommend watching it because it's like a very good uh, series to watch. Gotcha. But yeah, 
end of June Wings of is the that, so yeah, I was hoping more. that it would be more so like springtime, but yeah, that's fine. I, I played Nintendo through all three Dang and Rampa games like last year. So yeah, I'm good. I'm good on holding out a little bit longer. You know, I just realized something. How many masters have they actually shown in this tra um direct? Well, excluding GB and GBA, because technically they're not remasters, they are re-editions. Because there's yeah. Metro Prime, there's this, there's um, Katamari Dam Damacy, technically, Aryan Odyssey, um... Battles are fought using cards called Magnus. I think it was like five. Yeah, five, that was five. Sounds about right. Oh, by the way, I'd like to point out something. I was like, you missed it. Uh, me and... Honey 2 has zero opinions on Fashion Dreamer. Yeah, same. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah. This feels like a farming sim. Yeah. I was thinking that too. Fantasy Life, I'm pretty sure, was on 3DS. Um, and now it's on Switch. To make the island your own. Become a woodcutter, angler, cook, blacksmith. 27 December 2012. Wow. Over 10 years now. Take on yeah. roles to develop the island. How will you rebuild? This life is yours to live. If you are burnt out Animal Crossing, you can play this game instead. Restoration is yeah. about to begin. <laughs> Fantasy Life on. The girl who steals time. Oh, Fancy Life I, not just Fancy Life, Fancy Life I. Yeah. Wait. Professor Layden? Yep, he's oh. back! The new world of Steam. I've never played a Layton game. This will probably be my first. Wave four is racing in. Finally, what courses we have now? Bum 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 bum. Yoshi's Island. A brand new course is zooming into wave four. That looks so Mario good. Yeah. Wait, Yoshi? Oh, it's a new one. Oh. So we have Yoshi's just Circuit. Now we have Yoshi's Island. Style. Yeah, it looks amazing. I did see some. Very nice flashbacks. Birdle finally returns! Yeah, and some additional information that's come out since this aired. Uh, the next couple waves will also include more new characters. Yo! Yeah. And of course, I assume they will bring more courses in. Yeah, yeah. Actually, then again, they might do that during the Mario Direct. Like on the March the 10th, if they do that. Yeah. Although Nintendo doesn't really tend to do a whole lot with Mario Day, it's more so.
Thank you for staying with us so far. This will be our last segment. I mean, you have delivered more than we were expecting. This is this has to be Zelda. It has to be uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Yes, yes, it is. This kingdom and her allies. Leave no survivors. Okay, so we had the moon from uh, Majora's Mask. Now we have this. Oh yeah, the sun from Majora's Mask. Well, wow, oh my. But Link, I am not sure you'll be able to stop him. Whoa. Man, Hyrule's technology has improved a lot over the next few years. Yeah. Let's just tell the tears of the kingdom. Oh, and then we can finally understand what that's all about, too. Lend him your power. Twelfth of May. Wow. The Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, the latest entry in the Legend of Zelda series. Yeah. Incredible. In addition to the standard so, version, a collector's oh. edition of the game yeah. containing various items will release on launch day. A new amiibo figure of Link from this game will also be available on the same day. So, we fun fact, forward to this Link's game is 70 US dollars adventure. instead of 60. Yeah, I heard that. That's all for today's yeah, Nintendo Yeah, and... People Thank are thinking it's because the game, if you look on the, the eShop, is 18-something gigs big. So wow. Nintendo can't cannot use the 16 gigabyte um, game cards that they could have with Breath of the Wild. So they have to use their 32 gigabyte game cards. So it's probably in response to that, that they want to recoup some of those costs. Or they just know that people will still buy the game anyways, and so that it's going to end up being millions of more dollars. Mm. I mean, it's probably both. Yes. All right, I want to do something real quick, because I have a bit of... My choice is a bit off. Uh, do you... I need you, since this is your first time, I'll let you say your opinions about the whole direct while I do something real quick. Joe's like, you can speak. You know, I don't have to have a turn. Wait, you don't have any opinions what? on it, you? No. I, I feel like I, I, I expressed myself during it. I don't feel like I have any afterthought. I suppose that's fair. Um, So, let's see. Pikmin 4. The, the stuff that they showed was really uh, interesting. I, Especially everything with uh, that, like, dog Pikmin. Um, that looks like it's... Gonna is it a Pikmin? Be... I, I'm just calling it a dog Pikmin. I don't think it's actually a Pikmin. <laughs> That's just what I'm calling it until... Well, I, I think they gave us its actual name, Owachi, um, in a uh, text box in the trailer. But, yeah, looks like it's um, gonna be offering new and interesting stuff that Pikmin 3 didn't have. Um... The stuff for Splatoon 3, I'm personally really interested in. 
yeah, the first wave of content doesn't really look like it's going to add a whole lot other than basically just the hub from Splatoon 1. Um, but, oh my gosh, I was um, kind of re-watching the uh, little teaser for Side Order. <clears throat> I, mm, yeah, I have some thoughts, but... I don't know if they would technically be spoilers for Octo Expansion, so I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> um, yeah, that that looks, yeah, excited about that. Of course, yes, I was is, is, ecstatic about Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance finally <laughs> being added to Switch Online. Um, particularly because of uh, Superstar Saga that I may or may not have open on my Switch right now, and I've been playing for the last couple minutes. Um, yeah, very nice to have that finally on Switch. It was kind of a long time coming. There was that leak some time ago about, like, a developer software that, I guess, um, whatever development team, I think it was Nerd, they typically do emulator stuff like this um except for the n64 switch online that was handled by iq um yeah that leaked some time ago so it's like okay this is basically an inevitability it's coming sooner or later so finally having it on switch is relieving but also exciting um there there's a lot of games on both systems that I feel more people need to play, but because they're on handheld systems, people have just kind of brushed them off as, oh, those are tiny handheld games. They they don't stack up to big home console games, but I beg to differ <laughs> um, as someone that grew up with handheld gaming. Yeah, you got them downloaded? Yeah, well, what do you think? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I had to deactivate my camera just to show you guys because uh, for some reason, oh, well, then again, my camera cannot be activated on OBS and Discord, so it makes sense. Oh man, yeah, webcams, um, webcams just in general are like that. But yeah, now for my opinions, oh my goodness, <laughs> that GB and GBA alongside Metro Prime Remastered back to back really caught me hyped. Like, oh my goodness. And the silly thing is that I know Dine and Riddles have both have been asking me to play the original Metroid 2 and Metroid Prime. This Direct mm -hmm. fulfills their wishes to an extent. Yeah. Um, one thing's for certain, I'm picking up Metroid Prime Remastered Physical Copy, 100%. That has been a mm -hmm. series that I've been wanting to go, go to, but never had the opportunity because, you know, GameCube's never came to Singapore. Finally, right. I can do that. Um, the pricing, at least for the, the eShop version of Prime Remastered, is uh, 40 US dollars. I don't know if it's going to be different for the physical. I don't see why it would be different. Mm. But, yeah. Uh, anyways, with, uh, I'll be honest, I'm very happy with this trailer. I'm very surprised that my voice held up, despite, wow, a lot of crazy stuff. <laughs> like, who, I was not expecting a Bayonetta, like, um, side series. Um, but it made sense with how many characters, like, main characters there were in the game. Mm -hmm. Splatoon 3 expansion pass, I mean, come on, who was not hyped about Incompolis back in the Squid Sisters, the originals? Yeah, and um, I was talking about the, the side order, it's like, ooh. Um, oh, dude, yes. This, 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 def this definitely relates to the final Splatfest that happened in Splatoon 2. Yeah. Because Chaos versus Order, it's called Side Order. Yep. I didn't and even notice that until now. Yeah, Splatoon really likes their wordplay, so definitely has to do with the final Splatfest in some way. Exactly. Um, other things to know, I might try Katamari Damacy reroll since there is a demo version coming for seven, seven days. Um, and then Return to the Dreamland Deluxe. I mean, the fact there is an extra story, that's quite cool as well. But man, I might be all over that Nintendo Switch Online in due time. <laughs> Doesn't help that I just finally finished Pokemon Scarlet, and after I finish the um, after I finish the Pokedex, I'm going straight into Mario Odyssey. 
Nice. So for those who have been wondering where in the world have my updates been on Twitter, sorry, Pokemon Scarlet has been taking up most of my time, plus work. So yeah, mm -hmm. that, that's the update on my end. Before I go though, uh, Giles Egg, should we organize a date right now? And announce it to these people? Um... I know tomorrow we can, my voice would still be shot. So I'm thinking either right. next week Saturday, around the, like the 8, you oh, know, next Friday I should say, around 8, uh, 8, uh, 8, uh, wait, yeah, 9, 8 p.m. Um, next, you're saying next week? Either Friday? next Friday or the Friday after that. Okay. Ar around your um, night time. Next, next Friday would work better for me because the, the week after that, um, I work that weekend, so I would be kind of stretching myself a bit <laughs> thin. Mm. So, uh, next next Friday would work for me, though. So, next Friday. Okay, let me just check something real quick. I need to, I need to be sure about something that, uh... Uh, there it is. Uh, okay, there we go. So, let me just type this out. There we go. Um, thanks for you guys for joining in, by the way. I, I should, This was a very great experience. One one person blind with me and one person who's not blind with me. Yep. <laughs> I, I tell you, I think your reaction to me reacting to Metroid Prime... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that That's going to be clipped to an extent, I would say. Anyways, um, with that said, I guess it's official. Um, Visual Podcast episode 19, where we discuss about the Disney Direct, will be on the 17th of... Uh, February, 8 p.m. Yeah. EST, most likely. More updates I'll probably post on um, um, Twitter if I change the dates. Anyways, with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Did, How did you? Oh. Did you say? Sorry, did you say 8 p.m. or 9 p.m.? Uh, either one will can. Which one time you better? Okay. Uh, the these evening ones that we've been doing have been at 9 p.m. So. All right. Yeah. No problem. So yeah, 9 p.m. EST. With that said. Honeydew and Jose, thank you so much for joining on Cocom. Yeah, no yeah, problem. Yeah, no problem. And with that, uh, that's it for this reaction video. Wow, what a direct. I feel like they're getting better and better, but that's just maybe recency bias uh, kicking in. With that, make sure to hit like button, subscribe on content you like this right above here. And if you see, want to see the other direct reactions, check over there. Thank you guys so much for watching, but remember, the adrenaline rush is real. This is Lee Epp and everyone to one signing out. I'll catch you guys next video. Peace. Now everyone go play Superstar Saga. <laughs> <laughs>